Right, bit of an update for you. You're gonna like this one. It gets even better. This is the fuel tank, as you can see. I've taken my fuel gauge, uh, my fuel gauge out. I'll show you that in a minute. Obviously, this is a sealed torch. I'm not as thick as that other knob. All right. If you have a look in the tank, I've got to figure this out, right? See, hang on a minute. How do we do it before? I had it so you could see. All right. You can just see there. Loads of, there you go, let me get that right, there, see them bits, they're bits of floaty stuff, I don't know what it is, it's just floaty shit floating around the inside of the tank, see them black bits down there on the right, you might just be able to see them, if I get the light right and the camera on the iPhone so there's no sparks, anyway, well basically the tank's full of shit, alright, I'll leave that switched on, I'm not going to turn it off while this things about um now you're gonna like this this is me um fuel fucking sensor gauge thing that should be perfectly straight but what he's done is he snapped it on the corner there you see that should be at a right angle so that should sit straight down but because he's just in a fucking knobhead he's bent that to go over there, which is why it's never ever given me a proper fuel gauge reading, and I took it out to see if I could recalibrate it. So I'm gonna to have to buy a new one of them. Um, I'll show you. Hang on a minute. I'll show you where it was leaking fuel gauge. I'll put this on Facebook in a minute. Right. Oh, it's a bit dark. You might not be able to see it in this light. Looking on this light down here. All of these joints were leaking. Um, this was leaking. Basically, the whole of this hadn't been tightened up properly, so I've renewed all of that. Um, new PCFE, I'd say it's just a bit dark, so you can't see it in this light. But what I'm going to do is now it's all checked and I know what's going on. The battery's on charge. As soon as the engine's, uh, the battery's charged up, I'll start it up and check it for leaks, and then put the fuel tank back together so it hasn't been driven for a couple of weeks. As you. It's fucking manky, but that's just winter, I suppose. But um, yeah, couldn't believe that. The fuel tank, absolute fucking disgrace. Look at this, look. That's the overflow pipe. That's what looks like a bit of guard nose with a bit of gaffer tape on it. So I've got decent hose. I'll take that off. I'm gonna have a new fuel tank made to my own specifications. That'll be in the summer when I've got more money. I'll buy a new one of them again. Um, Waste of time charging him because he's thick as shit and he's got no money. So that's where we're up to with this update. Just again, just to remind you, Martin James, earn some kits, Ty Lil, Coventry, don't use him. He's about as much use as a fucking handbrake on a canoe. Ta-da.